Hello students, in this module I am going to explain about the care and maintenance needed for different types of furniture materials. You would have all experienced that furniture play a major role in our day to day life. We need furniture for doing all our activities with more ease and comfort. We have to remember that furniture may get easily damaged after years of use, but proper care will help to maintain your furniture to look attractive year after year. If you want to keep it in good condition, avoid damage and increase durability, it should be properly taken care of. In this lesson, we are going to discuss in detail the care and maintenance required for furniture made of different materials. The objective of this lesson is to identify the possible damages in the furniture after years. To know how to prevent those damages by taking appropriate care and maintenance. And to know the types of furniture policies and cleaning tools available for furniture protection. Why does furniture need care? Furniture need care to maintain its beauty and color, to prevent it from damage, to reduce its maintenance cost and to increase its durability. Now let us have a discussion on the care and maintenance of furniture made of different materials. First we will talk about the care and maintenance of wooden furniture. Wood is the traditional and oldest material for furniture making. Today there is a wide choice of wood. For example, oak, teak, mahogany, walnut, etc. It requires care and maintenance to retain its beauty, uniqueness and character. Students, when we talk about the care of furniture, preventive measures are the best form of maintenance that you can do for your furniture. The common problem found in taking care of wooden furniture are color fading. Wood furniture swell, shrink or warp with changes in its moisture content. Wood may crack or flake in its paint component. The, wood, the joints which are used to make wooden furniture become loose and the parts no longer firm together tightly. The moving parts such as cabinet doors or dryers may get jammed. Corrosion in inlay and fittings may occur. Insect and rot may attack the wooden furniture. Physical damage by misuse and mishandling by the people. We can prevent those problems by taking proper care. They include avoidance of heat and light. Yes, we have to avoid placing wooden furniture in areas where there is direct sunlight which can fade fine wooden furniture. We have to avoid scratching and knocking of wooden furniture. Sometimes the heat from the hot dish can damage the wood finish. So, use of Placemats, coasters, tablecloths or padded table covers protect the surface of wood from spills and scratching. Wipe all the spills immediately because spills become stained after some time and as they set, it is more difficult to remove them. Then we have to dust often the wooden furniture. Frequent dusting removes dirt before it has a chance to settle. We have to dust in damp condition. Dusting with a dry cloth can scratch the surface. So, lightly wet your cleaning cloth with water, a spray dusting agent or wood polish. We have to check for woodworm attack and treat the damaged piece of wooden furniture with appropriate chemical or wood finish. Periodically apply a suitable polish to keep your furniture looking nice and new. It is essential to polish it at least once a year. Finishes are used to seal and protect the wood. Sealing the wood protects the wood from moisture changes. 
spills, stains and surface abrasions and also it enhances the beauty of the wood grain. But it may be difficult for you to choose the best furniture polish. So it is essential to know about some of the polishes used as a wood finish. Now I will elaborate on the qualities of various furniture polishes available for the protection of wooden furniture. First and foremost is wax polish which will enhance the appearance of the wood and protecting it from abrasion. Wax finish in particular help to repel water and also help to prevent minor scratches. Using wax polish makes the surface smooth and so the dust does not stick on it. Another important wooden finish is varnish which is a transparent, hard and protective finish used on wood. These finishes are glossy and produce satin or semi glossy finish. Varnish has little or no color and has no added pigment. The next polish is paint or wood stain which contain pigment and generally range from opaque to translucent in nature. Then lacquer finish is a clear or colored finish which produces a durability in the surface. It is hard and glossy and it can be of any sheen level from ultraman to guide glass. Another important furniture polish is shellac which produces a very fine soft finish and it enhances the natural grain of the wood. It is available in two colors that is white and orange. White shellac is suitable for lighter woods and orange shellac gives an yellowish orange color to the wood and is often applied on dark woods. Melamine another important polish is a transparent and versatile wood polish which provides a smooth finish and long lasting protection to wooden furniture. This finish is available in glossy, semi glossy and matte finish which enhances the beauty of wood and which imparts elegance. The next finish is polyurethane. It is a synthetic resin that are resistant to water and most solvents. It is a very good finish because it is transparent, water resistant, fungus resistant, mildew resistant and also resist abrasion. It also dries more quickly than other type of polish and comes in high gloss, glass or matte finishes. It is good for bookcases, desks and side tables. The next one is homemade furniture polish. The smell of furniture polish that is made commercially can linger on furniture for a long time. It continues to exist for weeks or even months after use. It may cause a low level of air pollution that affects the central nervous system of the people who are living there. These commercial furniture polishes can be replaced with homemade formula for establishing a healthier home. Homemade furniture polish is so easy to make and I am going to explain how to make your own polish. The first one is olive oil lemon polish. To prepare this polish you will need 2 tablespoon of olive oil, 1 by 4 cup of distilled white vinegar and 1 by 4 teaspoon of lemon oil or fresh lemon juice. Method of preparing a homemade polish is that is pour olive oil, vinegar and lemon oil into a bottle. Shake well to get emulsified. Squirt this polish onto a microfiber cloth and rub on to a finished wood furniture. Evenly distribute the polish and always go with the grain and remove any excess polish with a clean cloth. The second important homemade polish is coconut oil rub that is rubbing some straight coconut oil into dry wood is also acts as a finish. For this you will only need about 1 tablespoon of coconut oil and a clean soft cloth. Clean the wooden surfaces, 
with a slightly damp cloth and dry. Rub some content of coconut oil onto another clean cloth and apply to wood in a circular motion. Let it dry and then rub in the direction of the grain. We had a discussion on furniture policies and next we are going to talk about cleaning of different wooden surfaces. If it is an untreated wood, how to wash it with water and soap. For stains that do not remove with soap water, use a scrub or brush to remove it. Always scrub the wood in its longitudinal direction. Rinse off all soap and dry well. Do not place any object on the table until the surface is completely dried. The next, lacquered and painted surface have a smooth, durable and usually water repellent finish. Wipe the surface with a clean, damp cloth. Solvent should not be used on it. Waxed wooden surfaces is easy to clean but not particularly resistant. Clean carefully with small damp cloth and should be treated according to the guidelines provided by producer or supplier. Next, I am going to explain the care and maintenance required for a plywood furniture. Plywood looks like hardwood, but it is actually made with a very thin layer of wood. Because of the very thin layer in nature, in its construction, maintaining the plywood can be quite difficult. You have to follow some steps to carry your plywood furniture more effectively. First, do not wash with water to prevent the plywood and glue. Second, never place it in the sunlight to prevent deformation. Third, it should not be placed in moist unventilated areas to prevent deterioration. Fourth, wardrobe and countertops which is made up of plywood cannot put heavy pressure which may cause frame deformation. You should avoid using washing soda and water to prevent damage to the finish. If the furniture surface is coated with dirt, wipe immediately with a damp cloth. Do not make any attempt to sand the plywood with rough sandpaper as it may damage the wood coating. Plywood furniture can be painted, stained or coated with a gloss. Refinishing the plywood using polyurethane will restore its glossy appearance. Our next topic is how to care for your wicker unhand furniture. The process of interlacing natural materials like cane, bamboo, reed, willow and rotten together is known as wicker work. Unless well maintained, it is liable to get out of shape and pieces of wicker can protrude and catch on cloths. Now let us discuss the care and maintenance of wicker furniture. Dust regularly to remove surface dust and regularly vacuum clean wicker furniture using the soft bristle attachment in the vacuum cleaner. To get stubborn dirt or animal hair out of the crevices, use a new dry paint brush to pull out of the material. Wipe off any spill immediately with a clean cloth dampened with a light detergent or soap oil in water. Reed wicker can be thoroughly cleaned in outdoors by using the spray hose and light detergent. Rinse well and dry completely before using again. Maintain even humidity in your home to keep antique wicker in good condition. Very low level of humidity may cause the wicker to dry up and become very brittle. But at the same time, too high humidity in the air affects the wicker by mold or mildew growth. So arrange the wicker furniture in an area with good air circulation. Clean immediately the mold or mildew growth if there is any on your wicker furniture with the solution of bleach in water. Vacuum it first and then use a soft bristle brush to remove dirt and mold. Wash with bleach solution and rinse well. Then dry thoroughly in the shade on a warm windy day. Use padded seat cushions to add and increase the life to the seats of your wicker furniture. 
This is especially good for both a woven reed wicker and also for cane furniture. Wash the wicker furniture completely once a year with warm and detergent, warm water and detergent using a sponge or soft brush. Spray rinse with the garden goes outside or put under shower. Dry furniture as fast as possible by putting in the hot sun or directing a fan onto it to keep air circulating. Protect the furniture with furniture polish. Protect the furniture with a coating of clear varnish, shellac or lacquer. Painted wicker can be freshened with a new coat of paint. Allow several days for drying before using it again. Next, I will explain how to take care of metal furniture. Metal furniture beautifully graces any home decor. It used both indoor and outdoor because of its small design and less maintenance. It requires less care when compared to glass and wooden furniture. Metal furniture can be made out of either of the following that is aluminium, wrought iron, stainless steel, bronze and brass. Simply follow some steps given to you to maintain your metal furniture look attractive. First, dust with the soft cloth to avoid scratches. At times, mild detergent and water solution can be used for washing. Dry it thoroughly using a soft towel after each wash. Do not wash metal furniture by using any harsh abrasive. Metal furniture is often damaged due to rust. To prevent rust, the outdoor furniture should not be left wet for a long time. If your metal frame furniture is not rust resistant, finish it with past wakes after cleaning it with mild soap and water. Dirty marks and sticky substances can also be removed from metal furniture by using a cleaning liquid and a paper towel. Apply wax on the metal furniture to make it bright and protect it from wear and tear. The wax film gives the metal furniture a pleasant look and prevents finger marks. Repaint the metal furniture when needed. The appearance of the furniture can be refreshed from time to time by painting it. It will add life to the furniture. Touch up the paint immediately if there is any damage to the paint finish which may cause corrosion. Metal furniture should be regularly applied with various types of powder coating like polyester, nylon, epoxy and acrylic etc. for added protection. If using outdoors, it is advisable to move the metal furniture indoors in harsh winters and rainy season to prevent it from rusting and corroding. Next, we will pass on to care and maintenance of plastic furniture. Plastic are used extensively in recent days in making furniture and are also used in the form of coating given to wood and metal and metal parts to protect them. Plastic furniture is the easiest one to keep clean. Let us discuss some of the points to be remembered in the maintenance of plastic furniture. These materials are highly resistant to damage from dirt. Regular dusting will help to keep the surfaces free from dirt and help to protect from any scratches. Just simply spray and use soapy water for stubborn marks. You have to avoid contact with boiling water and high heat. Do not use steel brush as it may affect the color and finish of the surface of plastic furniture. Most of the plastic furniture can be cleaned with mild detergent on water, rinse and wipe it dry. You should never use abrasive cleaners like scoring powder as it may scratch the plastic surface. Our next topic is how to care for glass furniture. Use of glass furniture is a wonderful way to create a feeling of spaciousness in your homes. However, glass furniture does require a certain amount of attention to keep it in good form. Care must be taken to avoid accidents as glass is still one of the most sensitive and fragile material to use. You have to avoid placing heavy objects on the tabletops. 
glass has its limits and can break if any too heavy is put on it. Do not place anything on the glass that has rough and sharp edges or bases as they will damage the glass. Use of coasters and table mats at all times as they will protect your glass from damage. To maintain glossy look, the glass has to be kept clean at all times. The glass shows dust and fingerprint mark easily. If it is not clean, you clean easy. You can easily see it and clean it. Abrasive cleaning material should never be used on glass as the neck cause scratches on the surface. If you clean the glass with the right materials and soft paper towels, tables with glass tops can last longer than other type of furniture. Next, we will discuss about care and maintenance of upholstered furniture. Upholstered furniture add softness, comfort, beauty and style to any home. It may be covered with either natural fabric or synthetic fabrics. Natural fabrics include cotton, linen, wool, silk and leather. Generally, linens, silks and pure cottons are best for areas with low wear as they stain and wrinkle easily. Leather is an excellent choice for hard wearing areas. Wool and cotton blends also make excellent choice as they are durable and stains are easily removed. Synthet next, we will see about synthetic fabrics which include acetate, acrylic, nylon, polyfin, polyester, rayon and vinyl. Some of these like polyester and nylon are generally blended with cotton to make a durable upholstery choice. Many synthetics are simple to keep clean and look quite attractive. The covering will determine the appearance and durability of any furniture. Regular cleaning and maintenance of upholstered furniture is important to retain the appearance of the fabric and to prolong its lifespan. With time, dust and dirt can cause furnishing fabrics to change its color. It's therefore important to regularly maintain and clean your upholstered furniture. Now, I'll give you some tips for maintaining the beauty of the fabric covered furniture. Clean daily with a light brush to prevent accumulation of dust. Vacuum clean upholstered furniture weekly to remove the stubborn dust and dirt. Wipe the spill immediately as possible with a clean folded towel. Use arm covers and slip covers to protect the arms of furniture which are particularly susceptible to soiling and fading. Rotate and plump the seat and back cushions monthly to ensure without regular rotation and plumping the life of the cushion will be shortened. Sunlight can damage the upholstery fabric causing it to fade and even fray. It should not be placed in the direct sun for extended periods of time. Don't sit on the cushions, not the backs and arms of sofas and chairs. Sitting on backs and arms can cause structural damage. Then move upholstery furniture by lifting it. Dragging or pushing can damage furniture and floors. Rearrange upholstered furniture once or twice a year to distribute wear more evenly. If the upholstery is covered with leather, it needs extra care. Let us see the care and maintenance of leather covered furniture. Dust and vacuum regularly. Don't scrub or rub hardly. Avoid exposing your furniture to direct sunlight to minimize fading and prevent cracking. Regularly clean contact areas such as arms and headrests to avoid buildup of perspiration and body oils. Rotate and fluff removable cushions regularly to ensure even wear and increase durability. Use leather cleaning products to remove water based spills. Oil based stains can be removed by blotting with a dry clean white cloth. The spot will dissipate into the leather over time. Protect and maintain your leather furniture by using a leather conditioner periodically. 
plastic covered furniture required only less maintenance when compared to other coverings clean the plastic upholstery with warm water and hand washing liquid remove spots with the sponge or a soft brush wash off persistent dirt with commercial detergents next we will discuss the important cleaning tools and their role in the care and maintenance of furniture what are the tools used for cleaning furniture it is important to choose appropriate tools for dusting and cleaning of furniture because some products can damage furniture while others just spread dust into the air the commonly used tools for cleaning of furniture are microfiber cloths which are a good choice for dusting because they grab and hold a lot of dust without releasing it into the air this cloth does not scratch wooden or glass surface and it is very convenient to wash and reuse the next tool is feather duster which is effective for dusting cramped areas such as bookshelves without actually having to move the books wool duster is very great cleaning tool which is for small and regular spaces making them good at dusting cupboards without moving any objects they are effective for dusting carved and turned furniture the next tool is lin free cloths that is a clean soft cotton cloths are also commonly used as a cleaning tool wet them slightly to help to trap the dust on the furniture terry towels are used to remove any moisture left from dusting with a damp cloth the next tool is synthetic duster which are great for reaching small areas that are in desperate need of cleaning these handy dusting tools are easy to use and can be cleaned in running water the important cleaning tool is vacuum cleaner it is used to remove dust without spreading it around into the air or onto the other surfaces small handheld vacuum cleaners would also be used for dusting which is more convenient with this tool you will be able to reach in accessible areas such as in between cushions and furniture shelves books etc lint roller can also be used as a cleaning tool for removing pet hair from furniture reusable variety can be cleaned with warm water and soap students with this we can conclude our discussion on the topic care and maintenance of furniture as we have already discussed no one wants to have furniture that look like old and unattractive but if you simply follow the guidelines and tips given to you about care regular cleaning and periodical polishing you can easily prevent the damage of furniture and can make your furniture look more attractive and beautiful and long lasting one thank you